Hi there. This lesson is going to look at how the process of breathing actually takes place within the body. We'll cover the mechanics behind the two stages of breathing, inspiration and expiration. Let's get into it. Our lungs are the organs responsible for allowing us to breathe. Breathing is able to occur because gas always moves in a very specific way. It moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure in order to obtain a pressure balance. So like I said, there are two stages of breathing, in and out, or in syllabus terms, inspiration and expiration. For inspiration to occur, that is, in order for air to move into the lungs, the volume of the lungs has to increase. Increasing the volume of the lungs, so that's the amount of space in them, decreases the pressure in the lungs. This makes sense if we think about the actual particles of air. So if we've got a certain number of air particles and then increase the space those particles have to move in, they're going to be less tightly packed together. In scientific terms, we say that the pressure is lower since they're less crowded. Now that the pressure has decreased, air particles outside the lungs will rush in, essentially spreading out in an attempt to obtain equal air pressure. So how do we increase the volume of the lungs? There are two key players here, the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. The diaphragm contracts and moves downwards and the external intercostal muscles surrounding the outside of our rib cage contract to lift it. These actions increase the volume of the lungs, decreasing the pressure so that air moves from the atmosphere into the lungs. The opposite happens during expiration, which is when air moves out of the lungs and back into the atmosphere. The volume in the lungs has to decrease, which will increase the pressure in the lungs so that the air moves out again in order to achieve that pressure balance. In order to reduce the space in the lungs, the diaphragm relaxes and moves upwards and the internal intercostal muscles layering the inside of the rib cage contract to lower it. Importantly, while we exercise, our lungs and intercostal muscles have to work harder to increase the respiration rate so that more oxygen can reach our body cells and more carbon dioxide can be removed. The efficiency with which the respiratory system can work these organs can significantly impact on performance because it determines the speed with which our muscles can obtain oxygen for energy production and remove fatigue-causing waste products like carbon dioxide. That's it for now, a short but important video today, so make sure you've got these notes written down. Breathing occurs because air always moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure in order to maintain a pressure balance. Inspiration is when we breathe air in. The diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contract to increase volume in the lungs, causing air to flow in to maintain that pressure balance. Expiration is when we breathe air out. The diaphragm relaxes and internal intercostal muscles contract to decrease the volume of the lungs, causing air to flow out again, maintaining that balance. See you guys soon.